Hooligans. Welcome to our new show. It is Wednesday already. Yes, it is. Wednesday, October 4th. The week is flying by. 2023. It is flying by. I can't believe it's October already. Uh, you know what? It's scary. It's scary. The end of the year is coming up. Another year is over. Yep. Odd years are my years. Or do you have like... like 2023. I got married in 1987. I had my children in odd years. I there's just something about odd years that we're happy. About. I got married in an even year. I was born in an even year. Um, one of my kids was born in an even okay, year. So, uh oh, we're on <coughs> opposite. The other one was born in an odd year. Okay. So, well, we digress. So, yes. Sorry. What is today's special holiday? I know it's something that you sort of help with. I do, I do. So today is National Walk and Bike to School Day. Ooh, and, I know. And it's always celebrated on October. the first Wednesday yes. in October. Yes. So it happens to be October 4th today. And it's all about getting up and moving and getting to school. And you know what? I always tell my kids, you know what? You have it so easy because when I went to school, I had to walk in the snow up, up a hill. hill. Both ways? Yes, both ways. <laughs> so, I mean, that's sort of exaggerating, but, you know, they got a comfy bus or grandma and grandpa driving them to school. They do, they do. So, um, guess when the first bike was invented? I don't know. I've always had a bike. 1817. Wow. And it does not look like the bike that we have today. No, not at all. And what it, did you have to wait, use? Wait, wait. It's called Carl von Dross invented the loof machine. It was a pedalless running machine. So I'm assuming that means that you just moved your feet. It's like the French like Flintstones. Flintstones. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, so you couldn't go very far if you know, it, just as fast as your feet okay. would run. What's the difference between that and just walking? I don't know. Maybe you could go just a little farther. Maybe you it's could like coast. Roller skates. I yeah. guess you could coast. Yes. You know, like if you're going downhill, you could just let go and coast. And coast. There you go. Okay. Maybe there was a lot of hills where he left. Yes. Um, oh, but it. 1861. Somebody got a brilliant idea. Someone, 55 years. I couldn't believe it take, took 55 years to put pedals on the bicycle so you could just do this. Exactly. Instead so, of... Right. So, And have you seen those bicycles from a long time ago? They had a really small front wheel and then a really big back yes, wheel. Yes. They were yes. sort of weird. Those are crazy. I How know. do you get up on that? I don't know. Like, like a ladder? You have to. Or you jump? I don't know. So, yes. um, okay. So what's another fun fact you have? Another fun fact is Andrew Helinga of Australia biked. Okay, wait. He biked backwards. Think about that for a second. Okay, not forwards. He's biking backwards. Okay. 209.77 miles. That that seems odd. So, how far it, from Naples is two hundred miles? Well, you get past Orlando. Yeah, like you get past. So, can Camp you Orlando. imagine biking backwards? He'd have from to have here a to really Orlando. good mirror. Yes, you would. And you would have to have like and coordination. Yeah, I'd be. I I don't know if I could do that. So, um, why do we celebrate National Walk and Bike to School Day? Because we put safety first so what it does is it shows our communities how important safe pedestrian pathways are because some places don't have sidewalks next to the roads okay pedestrian ped and sorry pedal the ped that is a prefix that means foot Yes. So pedestrians are people who walk using their feet. Mm -hmm. A pedal is something you use your foot to move. Oh, exactly. Like so it's teaching the community that there are people who need walkways. We yes. don't just need roads for cars, but we need right. safe walkways. Because it's kind of dangerous to be bicycling on the road with cars zooming by. 
So if you have a safe pathway, you could walk and bike safely. Now, I know that you and Miss Patty mm -hmm. help the walkers and the bikers and everything else. How do you become a walker or biker as a student? Well, you have to live less than two miles from school. And the, so you don't get bus transportation nope. if you live less than two miles from school, unless there are some factors, but for the most right. part. So our students who live over in um, Point Santa, Santa Village are required to get to school either by walking or biking or a family member bringing right. them and stuff. And okay, if you think about it, if you lived like across the street from the school, that would be silly to have a bus go pick you up. Correct. You could sleep later and then yeah. walk to school. And then you just walk like across so. the street to school. So if you are not a walker or a biker, if you are a bus rider or a car rider, you know what you can do today? You can get out and you mm -hmm. can walk. If you live in a neighborhood that has sidewalks, take a walk tonight with your family using those sidewalks. Get active yep. and celebrate bike and walk to school day. Oh, I have one more yes. shout out yes. to Miss Olga, yeah. oh. who has been taking over for me since I broke my ankle. So yes. she's been doing walkers for me and just woohoo to Miss Olga. I'd clap I would clap too. Yes. Um, woohoo to Miss Olga. Thank you so much. Let's stand for our Pelican Pledge. Today, I will demonstrate Poinciana pride. I will be kind. I will be respectful. I will strive to achieve. I will be the best that I can be. Mrs. Johnson. Yes. I have to tell you this because, what? well, I was off campus yesterday at a at a high school. Boy, those high school kids are big. Yeah. But I forgot to close out our readathon. Oh. I know, but I have to tell you this. Yeah. I looked online last night. We have $9,047. We have even more than we had. Okay, so wait a Monday. minute. Maybe we should just, you know, keep it open. Keep for a it while. open for a little bit. But I did promise I have to close it out today. Uh, but I am, I did promise that I would let everybody know like the classes who were the top classes. Oh, today. perfect. So the classes, the winning classes for where the most money collected was Mrs. Snyder's. She had $1,350. Mrs. Nettie, her daughter's class raised $735. Now listen to this, Miss Gonder's class yeah. raised seven hundred and twenty-five dollars, and Miss Vogel's class raised six hundred and ninety dollars. Thank you. Good job, everybody. I have to say that. And then the total minutes that we have read, forty-nine thousand seven hundred and forty-three minutes. That's a lot. That I wish is I had lot. that money. I wish oh, I had a, yeah. a dollar for every every minute. minute. We read. Yes. So uh, I am so proud. Our fifth grade has the top two winners. Mrs. Wallen squeaked it out with 7,593 minutes. That's a lot of minutes. Good Ms. job. Nella, 7,357 minutes. Wow, they were neck and neck. And then you know how Mr. Roderick and Mrs. Rising always yes, have- Yes, always com competing yeah, against competing. each other. Well, Mr. Roderick oh. rose to the occasion, 6,807. Mrs. Rizig, 5,120. That's it for today. Tomorrow is an early release day. Woohoo! I know Friday is picture day. All right. Yay! Yay! Anything else you need to say? No, I'm good. You're good? I'm good. Did you enjoy Squirrel Day? Squirrel! Squirrel! Yes, I did. I did and everybody, everybody came up to me and said they loved the little video at the end. I know. I saw that. I didn't realize that Doug had his own, like, cartoon. I show. didn't either, but okay. it was lots of fun. Okay. Well, enjoy your day. Make sure you do something, walk, bike, mm -hmm. enjoy, get out in the front. There should not be any smoke today. Did you know that smoke yesterday? It was very hazy. I did. I thought that, you know, it was really weird. I went outside, it looked all smoky, but you couldn't smell anything. No. Do you know where that smoke came from? I, I did talked to news. I did not watch the news, but Mr. Johnson. Yes. 
my husband, told me that it was coming from Canada. Yes, from Western Canada. And they had wildfires and it was just the way that the wind blew That's that we got crazy. 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 So, well, you enjoy your day. And now let's please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Bye, everyone. Bye.